So now let's see how we can utilize the drop shadow legacy filter inside of GIMP. So for that, I'm going to go around and create a new layer around over here. And let me just go around and grab a text tool over here. And then I'm going to go around and type in, let's say for example, tutor tube right here, just like this. So let's say what I want to do is I want to go around and add in a shadow to this um, in old style. Uh, that is old, um, a classic uh, drop shadow. Then what I can do is I can go around onto filter right here and then go to light and shadow. And over here, you can see that drop shadow legacy is an option. So once I go around over here, you can go around and set around the offset. You can change around the blur radius around over here as well and change around the color of the shadow as well. So you can go around and select it. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and select dark brown right here. You can change around the opacity as well and allow the resizing for the drop shadow and press OK. And you get a little drop shadow around over here, just like this, as you can see. And that is how you can add in drop shadow legacy filter inside of GIMP. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.